Hello, good morning viewers. Let us talk about equivalent fractions. What are equivalent fractions and how can we identify whether two or more fractions are said to be equivalent? Two or more fractions are said to be equivalent if they have exactly the same value. But how can we figure out? Number one. If you reduce any two or more fractions to their lowest term, if at all they are equivalent, they will be the same. Number two, the ratio of their corresponding numerator to that of their denominator is also equal or is exactly the same. And last but not the least, if you reduce them to decimal numbers, they will be exactly the same. So first we have two fractions, 2 over 4 and maybe 6 over 12. We say these two fractions are equivalent because the ratios of their corresponding numerator to that of their denominator is also the same. Look at this number here, 4, which is our denominator. 4 is 2 times the, our numerator, which is 2. Look at this. 12. 12 is 2 times more than our numerator, which is also 6. Therefore, they are equivalent. So you can see the ratio of numerator to that of the denominator of the two fractions is exactly the same. This is number 1. Number two, if we reduce these fractions to their lowest term, they will be exactly the same. Two can go into two, one time. Two can go into four, two times. Six can go into six, one time. And six can go into 12, two times. You can see to their lowest term, they're exactly the same. And last but not the least, if you transform them to decimal numbers, they will also be exactly the same because this is 0 0.5, this is also 0 0.5. And hence we say these two fractions are equivalent. Let us consider four cycles. We have one, we have two, we have three, and we have four. Let us divide this one by 2. Let us divide this one like this by 4. Let us divide this one. Uh, so let us shade half of these cycles. Let me shade this side. Let me shade this side, let me shade this side, and let me shade this side. Now, if we are to represent these shaded parts in fraction, you can see this one is just one out of two. This is, to get all together, there are four, but we have shaded two parts out of four. So we have two out of four here. Here we have partitioned the cycle into six and we have shaded three out of the six. Um, here we have partitioned the cycle into eight parts, but we have one, two, three, four as shaded. We have four out of eight. But if you look at these fractions, all the four fractions are said to be equivalent because they have exactly the same ratio. Two here is two times the numerator, which is one. Four here is two times the numerator. Six is two times the numerator, because three times two is six, four times two is eight, two times two is four, one times two is two. Therefore, all these fractions are said to be equivalent. And if you divide this by two, you obtain this. This divided by two equals this. This divided by two equals this. 
this divided by 2 is also equal to this. This is another way to find out whether they are equivalent or not. If you reduce them to their lowest terms, you're going to obtain 1 over 2. And if you transform them to decimal numbers, you shall obtain 0 0.5. And hence we say they are equivalent. Another way to obtain equivalent fractions is this. If you have 1 over 2, and you want to find another fraction that is equivalent to this, you can multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number to obtain another equivalent fraction. If you multiply numerator by 3, maybe 1 times 3 is 3, 2 times 3 is 6, this and this are equivalent. And you can even write equal to because they are equal to one another. If you multiply 3 by 4, you shall obtain 12. If you multiply 6 by 4, you shall obtain 24. And the 12 over 24 is exactly the same as 1 over 2. Now let us do something. If you divide, let us use division. If you divide 12 by 6, you shall obtain 2. If you divide 24 by 6, you shall obtain 4. And all these fractions are said to be equivalent. So you can use either multiplication or division to obtain other equivalent fractions but do not use plus or minus because you get a different result. Example, if I have 4 over 5, if you subtract 1 here, you will obtain 3. If you subtract 1 here, you will obtain 4. But these are not equivalent. They are never equivalent. If you add 1 to this number, you will obtain 5. If you add 1 to this number, you obtain 6. This and this are not the same. But if you use multiplication or division of numerator and denominator with exactly the same number, whatever fraction you obtain will be equivalent to the initial one. You can equally divide this by 2 you will obtain 1, divide this by 2, you will obtain 2. All these ones are said to be equivalent. So this is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.